Well, diversity and inclusion in the FDNY, that topic was on the discussion of the City Council today. And News 12's Dan Serafin has details on a package of bills announced that its goals are to address what elected officials are calling a historic lack of racial and gender diversity. City Council Speaker Adrian Adams and the Council's Black, Latino and Asian Caucus announcing legislation they say addresses the FDNY's recruitment and retention of diverse firefighters, saying they want the department to look more like the population of the city itself, and right now it doesn't. New York City is a rich and a vibrant city because of the rich diversity in our city. A fundamental breakdown of this city and what we can do to make sure that we recruit and retain more members of the service that are women and applicants of color. Like other fire departments across the country, FDNY firefighters tend to be disproportionately comprised of white men despite white men being less than a quarter of New York City's population. Numbers submitted to the council as part of the FDNY's preliminary budget for 2023 show 76% of uniformed FDNY firefighters are white. 11,000 firefighters, only 137 are women. That in itself is a problem. The legislation introduced would require the fire department to develop a plan to ensure the racial, ethnic, and gender demographics of the department reflect the city's population, while also ensuring city firefighters have a safe environment for a diverse workforce. We appreciate and we value the diversity. And we need to make sure that we're not only saying that we value the diversity, we need to show that we value the diversity. Council Speaker Adams went on to say that there's been previous efforts to boost diversity in the fire department, adding there is much more work to do. At City Hall, Dan Serafin, News 12.